and welcome to Bunky's Garden. And if I can do it, I know you can do it. So I'm going to be trying six tomatoes from my own garden today. I have my sugar drop tomatoes, then I have my indigo plum tomatoes, then I have my San Marzano tomatoes, then I have my beefsteak tomatoes, then I have my lemon ice tomatoes, then my standard cherry tomatoes. So let's get eating. Wait, and if you hear that background noise, there's a storm going outside and we're canning some tomato sauce and salsa. So, let's get eating. So first, as I said, I have my, I have my sugar drop tomatoes. Most of these don't come in from the garden, by the way. Mm. Much better. It's so sweet, like they never, ever, ever come in the garden, except for these three, so. They're so good, I love them. They're, they're, they're like so great for snacking tomatoes. They're a little juicy, they kind of make a mess if you don't close right away, so. That's the sugar drop tomatoes, I could eat them all day. Next is my indigo plum tomatoes. Now, these are like drinking a tomato, but like chewing it. They're not too sweet, but they're not sour at all. They're so great, they're so amazing. So, I really like the indigo. Plums, they're great for snacking, just like sugar, sugar drops, but they're better. So, I, we really like them. They're actually new, we've never planted them before, so. Next is the San Marzano. Now, the San Marzano doesn't have much juice, so we rather use it for tomato sauce. And I've got some, mm, I've got some cooking over here. And then that's the boiling noise, but. Mm. It's good-ish. It's, 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 it tastes good, but I wouldn't eat it a lot. I would just eat it maybe a month or so. <laughs> maybe more than that. Next is our beef steak. Now, we don't really use them as snacking tomatoes most of the time. We use them as slicing tomatoes. And we put them in olive oil and then basil, because you know I love basil. And then we put some garlic on it. So that's what we normally use it, and we use it on hamburgers too. But they're actually really good. I think I'm going to have half. So... These are really good for slicing and hamburgers. Mm. Could use a little basil. <laughs> now next is my is my lemon ice. Now, Mr. Jeff at Grow Something with Jeff gave me this lemon ice and it's actually doing really good I had it in my indoor garden look at this one this one's big um, so it's really good I kind of taste a little citrus I think that's why they call it lemon ice but it's really good so I really like the lemon ice it really tastes a little bit like lemon so Next is my standard cherry tomatoes. So, mm. 
Now they're the ones that really make a mess. Mm -hmm. But we actually can some. This is some salsa and we have canning them. That's our boiling noise. So, whew, it's hot. Hot. So that's what we mostly use these for. There is two tomatoes that aren't present because they're not ripe is my schwa tomatoes and my bushcraft tomatoes. So I've got one on both, but there's still one's big and then the other is one small. So they need some ripening to do. <laughs> but that was our tomato testing. I think my favorite was probably the indigo and I think the lemon ice actually. I'll have to go with the lemon ice. But that's my video for today and thank you for watching and that's it for Bunky's Garden for now.